Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install controller support to Minecraft. Now, controller support, there are, on Linux, you can do it in a couple of ways. You can use like uh, anti-micro X and bind all the keyboard controls to your gamepad, but you can actually just add the functionality to the Java edition that supports Linux. And I wrote an article on it, and normally I don't reference the articles that much in the videos, and I just tell you to look at the description. But in this case, as you can see in the screenshot here, it gives you like controller bindings, it's just like on the Xbox version where you can see like, you know, stuff like that or on the PC version. But to, to start off, you need to install the Minecraft Java Launcher. Now I've done that already on Arch, but the instructions are here. Once you've got it installed, you need to open it up and uh, sign in. So I'm going to sign in really quick. Do that, I need my Bitwarden. One second. Okay, so my user goes here, my password goes here. Now once I'm logged in, I can see I need to get the latest release downloaded and uh, I can click play, but I actually now that I'm signed in, I need to install a mod because the mod will add the functionality. And now the mod is called Forge Mod, and I have all the instructions here. To start off, you need to get the Forge installer. From, you can get it from the website, but if you're using Linux, which we obviously are, you can use this awesome tool called wget, and wget will just allow you to download straight through, you know, straight through the terminal. Now from here, we can go to the downloads folder, like so and uh, we can execute the forge installer with this command here. Now the forge installer is going to pop up. We are using a client because we're not installing Minecraft as a server. We're, we're playing the game, so we need to select install client. Then we can allow it to auto detect our Minecraft folder and we click OK. Now this is going to download all of the libraries for the mod that it needs, build it and, and just install it and set it up. And uh, it's installing forge. Now Forge is great, you may need to update it, you know, like I know that this version I linked to in the article is fairly new, but you know, there might be a newer version. So if you do see a newer version, you should go to the download, download the latest if you have any problems with the, the one that we referenced in the article, just, just as a little quick tip there. Once you've gotten the Forge set up installed, you need to create a mod folder and we can do that with the command here. and. Uh, now we can just download the mod, like so. Now if we look, the mod should be right here. Now we can take that mod and we can move it into the mod folder. Okay, so now there's that. Now all I gotta do is connect my, my Xbox controller. I'm gonna connect it over wireless and I'm going to relaunch Minecraft. Now once Minecraft is open, you can now see, instead of just the latest release, we also see Forge. So I can select Forge and I click play. It's gonna download all the stuff it needs to run the game, you know, from the Minecraft, Microsoft stuff, the servers that they have. And uh, it shouldn't take too long, especially if you have a faster internet connection like I do. Now, once everything is done downloading, you will see the game start launching up and it's gonna load up the mods. As you can see, it's gonna register that we have it and it should be able to detect, and uh, I will full screen it. Let's see, three mods are loaded. Now, if we go to mods here, we can see controllable. Now, this is our controller mod for the Xbox. And if I go into settings and go to options, now there's a little controller icon, and now this is telling me that it has detected my Xbox wireless controller. I don't have to do anything intricate like manually binding controls. I can just load directly in to my Minecraft server, and I can start using my controller, and we will see that momentarily. Connections do take a bit sometimes. All right, so now we are in the Minecraft server, and uh, I'm using my controller. I'm not using the mouse and keyboard like I normally would. I didn't have to bind anything. I didn't have to mess with the keyboard controls. I didn't have to add the game to Steam as a non-Steam game. Just installed a simple little mod and a simple little mod framework. So if you wanna play Minecraft on Linux and you like playing Minecraft on Linux, but you do not like using the mouse and keyboard, 
you can set up the mod by following the tutorial that I wrote in the description of this video and you will be able to enjoy the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.